have to make a commitment and you have to back up the commitment with action. You know, hope is not a plan of action. I don't pretend that we're going to change all their lives, but I think, you know, if we make a difference in a couple of their lives, it's pretty darn neat. But that's exactly the truth there, but for the grace of God, go on. Hey, Floyd, how's it going? So I got on a plane, sat right next to a client who graduated from here. She said, I wouldn't be sitting in a seat if it wasn't for Webster Place. And I just melted. And there you are. Restaurants know what their neighbors and communities need, and they are the first to volunteer and lend a hand. It just made sense to give back to our communities. Generous volunteers donating their time with everyday acts of kindness, responding to personal emergencies, national disasters, feeding the homeless, challenges big and small, doing good work each and every day. Restaurants giving back, one neighbor at a time, enhancing the quality of life for all they serve. Most parents take this for granted, but this California Special Needs Daycare Center didn't have funds to build this playground. BJ's Restaurants made sure they did. Next thing we knew, we had an unbelievably generous check from BJ's restaurant. Six. Rob DeLima runs BJ's task force and says his job is easy. When managers and associates suggest a project, he just says yes. I get calls from managers saying, would it be okay if I helped with this walkathon? Would it be okay if I helped paint a house, build a house, build a playground? And I always say, absolutely. Well, it always surprises me how passionate and involved uh, team members that work in our restaurants uh, get with the causes that they want to support. One million pounds of food go out the door a month. We can't do it without them. BJ's restaurants last year, they came down and they had to work. They sorted food to feed 200,000 people. We are a public company. We have to make profits. But there's a heart that beats there, too, and it's such an important part of our culture. Enjoy your lunch. Have a nice lunch. Peter, Peter. Keller doesn't just write checks. <laughs> What's your name? Jose. Jose, I'm Peter. Right. He and his restaurant staff hand deliver the help and guidance. Okay. Just completed culinary arts school. And here I am. I am submitting my resume to okay. you in your hand. Okay, let's see what we can do. Peter and all the volunteers from Rod's Steak and Seafood Grill cherish their time at Eva's Village. Just a short drive, but worlds away from the restaurant they call home. I know quite a few restaurateurs who, who are involved like this. And I think they share the same view that I have, that this can be just as rewarding as a full house on Saturday night. Peter and his family continuing the community service their father began when he founded Rod's a half century ago. They've helped raise nearly two million for the village and serve thousands of meals. Dear God and Father, we thank you for the food we're about to eat. We wouldn't exist without people like Peter Keller. Much of our mission is really based on the kindness of people, on the goodness and the generosity of people. This is far more than meals, homeless housing, job training, healthcare, education, and inner city oasis. I'll be out on the street. Be, seriously, me and my three children. Yeah, it's a blessing for Ethan. The surf's always been up for Bill Duggan. Even as a child, one of 18 on a poor rural farm, Bill knew how to escape, and he decided to help inner city children who couldn't. Driving back into the city, I was going down 7th Street and went past the old Kennedy Playground, and it was all glass strewn, alcoholics, junkies out there, and I see these kids, it was horrible. This is what they have to look forward to in the summertime. So Bill loaded the van with staff and friends and made sure that children who might never see the beach did taking as many as 40 at a time to his Delaware Beach home. It's the kids from the neighborhood, and they get to do something together with a bunch of new people. Their parents aren't around. It's far away. To them, it's like a big adventure. I mean, who wouldn't like that? The restaurant staff has been taking kids to the beach for more than a decade. 
can't imagine not doing it. They, they're just allowed to be kids. They just play in the pool all day and go, go out in boats and see things that they haven't seen before. And that's the real thing, let them be kids. Bill Duggan's restaurant and blues bar is about a mile down the road from the White House. Many of his young neighbors live in poverty. Bill hopes these summer adventures help them find a way out of the inner city. They're like any other kids. They're kids, they've got every bit of promise with them. And the only thing that's holding them back is their environment. Oh, I'm really good at this. There is an amazing amount of therapy in a pepper. What kind of pepper? A string bean. Even the chicken laying eggs for breakfast. This is Webster House, a substance abuse treatment community built on post-Revolutionary War statesman Daniel Webster's New Hampshire homestead. The Common Man family of restaurants founder and CEO Alex Ray spent millions turning it into one of the state's only residential treatment centers. Well, the community of alcoholism and drug addict addiction is, is insidious and everybody knows someone and, and this place is built to be reachable, affordable. And this is not the time when people would open a place. In fact, when they called me, I said, you gotta be kidding me. Everybody else is shutting down, and you're talking about building a place. Alex saw a need for New Hampshire. He thought that this was one way that he not only could give back to the community, but also give back to the industry and those individuals that work for us that are in need. And it's people like Alex that are, are, are chipping in, are, are, are paying back. Uh, for everything that the community has given to them. The Treatment Center, just one of countless charities Alex Ray has championed, from troubled children to cancer fundraisers, volunteers doing something for their customers virtually every day. They're proud to be a part of this place that they constantly know is out doing things, that they're doing good things in the community. Lots of things, every day, every restaurant. Restaurants that cherish their communities. Companies nurturing volunteers, helping neighbors, supporting families who help their restaurants thrive, doing great things for their communities. The 2009 Restaurant Neighbor Award winners.